everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to place background images behind vertical videos or basically any video that has black bars on the sides uh, or the top. So let's jump right into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go at the top, create a new project, um, remove black bars, so we'll name this one. Alright, so we've got a blank project now. Let's go in here and create a new sequence. And this is going to tell Premiere uh, what frame size we're going to be using for this video. So I'm just going to do a standard 1920 by 1080. Uh, that's here under Digital SLR, 1080p, and then a 1080p 30fps right here. So double click on that. That now sets up our frame size to be 1080p. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to drag a video from my desktop in here. And this is actually a uh, gameplay video I recorded from my iPad. So the iPad is a different resolution than what we have set. Um, I can't remember the exact resolution, but it's not a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So there should be black bars on the side of this. So when we drag it into our timeline, it's going to recognize that the video I'm importing is not the same dimensions as what I previously set uh, to be. And so it's going to ask if I want to you know, change this. I'm going to say no. We're going to keep the existing settings. And what it's done is it's now tried to zoom in the video that I've imported um, to make it fit this frame. And you can see it's cutting off this icon. There should be more text across the top. But that's all being cut off because it's trying to fit this to the frame. So the first thing we're going to do is right click on the video and set it to frame size. Now you can see I, I've got the entire screen from my iPad, but there's black bars added on each side and it doesn't look good. Uh, so let's fill those in with a picture. First thing we're going to do is right click on our video. We're going to unlink it from the audio tracks uh, so we can freely move this around. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to remove the audio from that so we don't have to listen to that. Next, I'm going to drag some sort of image in that I want to display in the background. So I just grabbed this like space looking background off Google and we're going to use that to fill in these black bars. So all you've got to do is drag your background image on there and we need to stretch it out across the entire video and now all you need to do is take your video track and move it on top of the background and there you go so it filled in um, those black bars with our background image so essentially when you record raw video and it can't fill up the whole screen it'll add those black bars in there but really those black bars are transparent um, if there's nothing behind them it will just fill it in with black uh, but now we should be able to put any image behind this video and it will keep that background uh, image there the whole time and it looks pretty nice. So one other scenario that may happen if you have a video that's not necessarily raw footage um, and it has those black bars permanently embedded into the video uh, we can still easily get rid of those so let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of here and I'm going to drag a video in. Uh, this is another iPad gameplay video, but I had converted this to an AVI or an MP4 or something like that. Um, and so it basically hard embedded those black bars into the video, uh, I guess you would call it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Go ahead and drag this video in. I'm going to right click. I'm going to unlink it from the audio track. We're also just going to delete the audio track real quick. And if you remember last time, all we had to do was drag this video on top. Uh, and you can see the background, but now you can see that it's not showing the background behind it. We've got these black bars permanently added in this video, uh, but that's not a problem. All we need to do is crop those out. So what you need to do is uh, go up here to effects and we're going to go to video effects, transform, and then crop. All right, so you just double click that. Uh, if we go back over here to effect controls, we can see it added this crop effect in here. Now all we've got to do is click and drag our left crop. Uh, let's just type something in. Let's try 10%. All right, so you can see it's now cropping these black bars out. I still need to go a little bit more. 12, okay, that's still not enough. Let's try like 12.5. Okay, that looks good. So we cropped the left side of the video by 12.5%, got rid of that black bar, so we need to also do the same thing to the right. So we'll do 12.5%, and there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, now we've gotten rid of the black bars, and we can see our background image, and it makes our video look 10 times better. 
So all right guys, uh, if you have any more questions or need any further help, just leave a comment below. And if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see, uh, just leave a comment and let me know. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye.